Affinity Designer 2.5 has a new feature, QR codes. Now this is available in Affinity Photo as well as Publisher, and it probably works near enough 99% the same way, PC or Mac. So let's just remove this QR code, start right at the beginning. Just go over here to the tools and then go to rounded rectangle and down to QR code. Now, if you can't find it, one, you may be using 2.4, 2.2, whatever. But if you're using 2.5, it should be here, QR code tool. So select that. Now, if you can't see it there, go to view, customize tools. So customize tools, and then you can see it here. And you can simply just drag it into there. Or you can reset it so it actually will display that QR code tool. So close. To use it, simply just click the document. Now it uses the current color. So if your color is currently black, it will use that. If it's green, it will use that. If it's a gradient, it will use that. So click and drag. And you can resize it to as much small, as big as you want. You can also rotate it as well. So you can do a whole range of different things as well as shear it as well. But I've got this design now. And I've got here already this. It uses this one. This was obviously before and before, but you can now just edit it. You can put whatever you want. So you've got maybe some other text. Obviously, I'm not going to put actual text, but the body there and the subject. You can obviously, and as you do that, it will change. Then click OK. And there it is. You've got your QR code. And of course, you can create other ones. You can simply duplicate this one. So, if, or simply deselect that one, move it over there. And again, click hit QR code and then just drag and create another one if you want to have more than one QR code. And of course, then you can manipulate this one and it will be different from this one. Now you can also store it. So you might decide, you know what, you've got 15 or 20 different QR codes that you're happy with that you use all the time. You want to store them away. Now you can store them away in the QR code or whatever you want to call it, category over here in your assets. So assets, you can find all the panels in window and assets. And you see, I already got one there. Well, to store it away with the one that's currently selected and all the settings, everything will be stored away with it. You can simply go over here and of course you can create your own category. I've just gone for QR code, when I created, add from selection. Now it looks very similar to that one, but it is slightly different. And now I can delete it. So at any point, obviously if you open the document up later or not even this document, it doesn't have to be this document, it's purely there for use whenever you want it. You can then simply go over here and drag, drag it into here. And now you can then click up here along this data. And then you've got all these options here to type something else. It's independent. It's not, it doesn't rely on this. It doesn't change it. So it's stored. That's stored still exactly the same as the old one, but you've now modified it slightly with your new. So you might be sending the same message to lots of people, maybe just write in the actual name, obviously the email, etc., or the body may be slightly different. So you can change it. But also what you can do, you can set it up as a preset. Now the preset is slightly different. Preset doesn't store the color. This does store the color. So if you've got a green one or blue, or whatever, it will store that in the assets. If you go over here and just click here, and you can see I've already got a couple. Now this one does show the name. This one doesn't show the name, which is weird, but still, here you've got email and location, and you could have multiple ones. So you, I've got this email one here. It's different from the other email one. So you can go up here, click create preset. So you could say email to XYZ, and you could set up a preset, create. So you can just go to this one with this selected, this tool, create, you can create a, obviously a QR code. So you can, now let's just remove that. And I can create another QR code. And it could be anything. Let's just quickly go and change it. So click here, then go up here and go for phone. And you've got this phone one. Click OK. Well, now you've got that, you can actually just go up the preset. So just click there and you decide, I want the email to Fred to be used. So just click there and that will then be changed to that default XYZ QR code. And then you can, of course, manipulate it again, modify it. It's independent from the preset. So you can just change it and add a different text or body, whatever, and then click OK. And of course, you can save that as a preset as well. 
You can also convert it to curves. You can also apply it with various tools like the contour tool. You can use it with the pen tool, no tool, etc. You can also export it into photo via file and edit in photo if you've got photo. And you can use it with other tools such as combining it with different shapes and other designs. Hope you found this tutorial about Affinity Designer of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.